always loved to go to school. To hear the stories of the students and what they're learning at the next level is very, very exciting to know that I had a, a role in that. What do I want to do and what do I want to learn? And so as long as I'm focused on, uh, I guess kind of cliche, but my core values, as long as I'm focused on what is important to me and what I'm passionate about, I can sort of pull through those tough times. It's about how they feel about learning. It's about that excitement. When you see they can read and write, but when that enthusiastic and that motivation comes with them and they're like, oh yes, I can do this, oh yes, look at what I've done. Just because I like, you know, I'm a good student doesn't mean that I don't have a life outside of school. I hang out with my friends. I love going to concerts. I mean, I do have fun still. I can balance it all. One of my favorite things is when kids come back two or three years after they've taken my class and say, Wow, I really hated your class when I was in it because you were so tough, but I know now how much I learned. I meet kids here all the time that remind me so much of myself. And I want to look at them and say, you know what, you're going to get through this. And you will be successful. Um, it's okay to be shy. It's okay to be who you are. It's fun knowing that uh, you can be a leader and let them look up to you instead of looking down on somebody else. So if you do something good, you can show them that they can do something good. And it just um, keeps on going through the school. In high school, I had an incredible teacher who really made me love reading and writing and I knew I wanted to be like her and I wanted to ignite a fire to own my own learning and to love reading and writing and I knew like from a junior I knew I wanted to be a high school English teacher and then I student taught at a middle school and I fell in love with middle schoolers. They will be our next generation of leaders and they're gonna do a fabulous job. So for example, when I, well I am old, but when I'm old and gray, these kids are going to be my doctors, my nurses, my caregivers, the next president of the United States, the next lawyers, the next teachers, and our generation is, this, my generation is going to be in good hands. In 
2012-2013, I think we're going to have an amazing school year because we have all the right ingredients. We have the best staff in the state of Colorado. We have great students. We have a community that believes in us. And we have parents who support us by sending their children to us every day. I think we'll have an amazing 2012-2013 school year.